taking care of the ball against the line better? Uh, as much as we would like to, you know, adjust to the game, you know, from the beginning of the game, it took us a little bit. And uh, that second half, we adjusted. You know, I mean, they are playing faster, they are playing more aggressive than us. Um, second chance points, just just basically everything as a coach is you, you don't want to give up, you were giving up. So, you know, we talked about the second half and, and we were a lot better. How, how do you kind of look at these games after having them in the first half and get the team in the locker room? Like, what's your role? Like, do you kind of just download everything? Yeah. yeah, I process everything, figure out what's working, what's not working, things that we can get better at, things that didn't work in the first half, and uh, just attack, just be more aggressive, be more physical, I think, for us, that's the key. Um, you know, we had a lot of good opportunities, shot opportunities in that first half. Some we passed up, some we missed. It's a part of the game, but I think our, our our presence wasn't being filled in that first half, and uh, I think the second half we did a really good job of that. James, does it still mean something when you play here? Yeah, I got family, everybody's still here, so, um, yeah, definitely. What do you think about some of that young talent that they have over there? Really good. They're, they're definitely in the right direction. We got a combination of really young talent with some vet pieces that's, that has experience, so, um, you see, they did a really good job. They've been playing well. Um, you know, so it's just right. I gotta ask you, just just this in general. You, you guys don't have another break, uh, two days off before you play after yep. this one. Uh, you've been playing all these games, and you've been the hammer more than often you know. Like, how do you just consistently impose your will physically, even as these games continue to stack up? I'm used to playing, like, in a lot of minutes. So, I'm, for me, it's just. You know, transition and making my mind, you know, go out there and play and be effective, you know what I mean, and, and, and making an impact on the game. So, the last couple of years, it's been, it was tough for me just because I was missing games with an injury, and now I'm finally healthy, so I don't even think about, you know, missing games. I, go out, I think about going out there and impacting the game and, and putting my, my stamp on that game. So, uh, whoever we play next, it's just like take advantage of the opportunity when you're playing, because for me personally, it's like, I'm not playing basketball no more. I don't want to look back and say, you know what I mean? I want to like really take advantage of the opportunity while I'm playing. So that's kind of my mindset on, 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 on the stretch and playing and missing it. Is that your favorite part? Like specifically when you put shoulders on the guy, when you are like, you're a big guard, six five, two hundred something. Like, is that like when you feel like you're at your best when you're getting downhill? Downhill, rhythm, uh, getting my teammates involved, everything. Like I'm capable of doing a lot of different things. So. I think me, me having a rhythm can, can be a lot of different things, and um, just depending on how the night going. And, and Thanks. Appreciate it. Thank you, Mr.